What's up guys, welcome to Superwise. I'm John and this is a very interesting topic to talk about in the comic book pop culture realm. It's definitely something I think we should discuss because recently it's been getting out of hand and things have gone too far. We're talking about revisionist history. Not to be confused with revisiting because with revisiting, you originally didn't appreciate it, but after some time you see it in a new light and you appreciate it more than you did before. For example, Spider-Man 3, Batman Forever, Thor, The Incredible Hulk, the first two Fantastic Four movies. These are movies that have had a resurgence online. People are realizing that these movies aren't bad as everyone says they are. They're appreciating them more. And that's awesome because all of these movies I've enjoyed since the beginning. So seeing them be appreciated more now, it's nice. But with revisionist history, people are now pretending to like something they didn't like before. Previously, they were hating on it, they were trashing on it, but now they're pretending to appreciate it to follow a trend or to make a point. For example, Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. When Spider-Man No Way Home came out, one of the standouts was, of course, Andrew Garfield, and it reminded people how great he was in the role. So for the people who previously hated on Andrew Garfield's performance and hated on his movies magically, now say they've loved Andrew Garfield and his Spider-Man movies, when I've always loved Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man and that first Tazza movie since 2012. I just don't like the BS. Next on Twitter, there's a real problem with people taking those terrible Marvel Legacy films and saying they're better than very good MCU films. For example, a user hates Spider-Man Homecoming so much that they had the audacity to post that X-Men Origins Wolverine was better than it. This is how out of control revisionist history has gotten. A terrible, terrible movie, one of the worst Marvel movies that butchered Deadpool is now better than a Spider-Man movie that totally nails the teenage aspects of the character? A fun, good movie? Come on now. Finally, the Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, John Krasinski, Mr. Fantastic suit, which is somehow a divisive suit. Yes, it's over-designed, and yes, there are edits that make it look much simpler, cleaner, and better, but it's still a dope suit that resembles the suits from the comics, but people are going to such lengths to say that the 2015 Fant Force Stick suits are better than this suit. This is how extreme revisionist history has gotten. Back in 2015, we all hated the black, bland, boring suits that resemble nothing from the comics, but now that we get a comic accurate suit, now we're saying that the 2015 suits are better? What is this? So those are my thoughts on revisionist history because there is a lot of it and it's getting extreme. It's getting really out of hand and I just thought it would be a very interesting new topic to talk about. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you love Marvel, DC, Star Wars movies in general, you're in the right place. That'll be all for me, and remember my catchphrase, guys. Stay super wise.